Hello and welcome back. I'm Eliestru and this is a short tutorial on how to run The Settlers 4 on Windows 10 in a widescreen resolution. Um, basically trying to run Windows 10, window, no, run Windows 4, what? Run Settlers 4 on Windows 10 uh, will, will, will give a little error on the screen and the game will not run. Uh, my solution is to download a program called uh, DX double W and D. Um, you download it as a little um, as a little zip file, as a little raw file, and uh, when you um, when you unzip that, it will be in a little folder like this, um, and then you can just open the file here, run that. Then uh, you have this little program. And um, and then you will need to import a little uh, a little thing I have made for it. Like uh, I can go into this and I can modify and then I can set all kinds of things. I need to actually run the game. Like some of the important things is uh, switch video to system on fail and uh, here force hell and fix draw recount all kinds of small things it needs to actually run the game and uh, also to have the to have the, the right, the right uh, to have the right path yes so I will um, I will upload this file so it is uh, so it is accessible but what what you need to do is you need to you need to say set the path here for the for the game otherwise it will not work this is my path um, and this is the path to the game, and then you go into the exe folder, and then you set this to be the path. Um, so yes, using that will work, and uh, this just needs to run, then uh, then the game will run fine. We can just uh, move this to tray and run the game, no problem. Uh, and the way you get the profile I have made into this is you go to import here and then you can uh, then you can imp you can open this one and uh, that will open the profile in here and that should do the trick so now the game is running now, now the game is working but it is still not widescreen in order to get the game to be widescreen we need to uh, at least this is a solution to make it widescreen. We can go to this, uh, to this to this location, download this file, and then uh, then we get a little, little tool where we can where we can select different resolutions. And these are the supported resolutions we can we can choose from. We also need to set the location of the settlers file and all that. And um, this is a comparison. Like this is the normal. Uh, biggest settlers 4 resolution and this is full, uh, full HD so quite a difference um, and I will quickly go into this and you just download a single exe file no installation needed and I've set it to my to my path here same path as, as before pretty much but I've set it to this file and not the file in uh, in here because it will not accept this file for some reason the guy who wrote it apparently didn't want that uh, anyway you set the uh, set the file to the s4exe executable then you uh, it says the path to that file yes um, and then you select your desired resolution it can be hard to run the the bigger resolutions uh, this resolution is actually pretty fine it, it also makes the interface bigger so so that is uh, there's also a plus, um, but I'm just gonna gonna show how the how the full HD look, um, and uh, a quick overview of what this little tool does. It changes something in uh, in the GFX engine DLL file and the game settings CFX CFG file, um, and then. So in order to, to make the game do that, you just click apply, then it patches those two files. 
And if as if it says patch, patched OK on both, and it says it has set the resolution, it should work. Normally, you'd be able to start from here, but um, but because uh, DX Wind and uh, and this tool is not really uh, really made to uh, made to fit together, it's um, it's not working like that. But uh, running this uh, running this file should make us able to run the S4 main exe. This one will still uh, will, will will still give us uh, error messages. Oh, it should, yeah. This error message. This is the normal error message you get. But if you run uh, this file, it's just a shortcut to the S4 main exe. Then we are actually going to be running the game now, and we are getting uh, getting the the videos here in the start, the intro thing, and we are also uh, we are also also getting the. Uh, Intro videos between uh, between uh, campaign uh, maps, so uh, that is kind of nice. So uh, now we are in the game here. We can just uh, go into single player, maybe Threat play the first the Roman mission, and bam, we are in full HD. Just a just a small minor thing here. We are. Uh, we have a big, uh, no, not a big, but a small, um, a small box here with, uh, with 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 some errors because the game is not really meant to be played in in this resolution. So um, so this is a bit of uh, this is a bit annoying, but it is uh, it is nothing major. And if I'm going to make videos on it, I will probably cover it with something that looks like uh, what's in between here. Or I will play in a lesser resolution. But uh, the game should be running. It also runs pretty smooth, even in uh, even in so, such a big resolution. Um, if I were to run another uh, DX thing, like for an example uh, uh, DXGL, then I wouldn't be able to run this bigger resolution, this smooth, and while while recording. So. Uh, that is one of the reasons I'm. I like to. Um, I like to use this solution. So um, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this little tutorial video. I hope this helped you get back to Settlers 4. Maybe in the future I will also start playing some Settlers 4 on this channel. It has been requested a few times, so uh, it may be a possibility. Um, but that was it for this time. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Just a small end note here. Let me know if you prefer this resolution over the resolution I showed in the uh, tutorial.